everyone. Welcome to the third section of this lesson. In this lesson, we're going to continue with how to build and set up the Ansible inventory file. In the previous lessons, we've looked at what Ansible inventory is. We've also looked at how to group the um, host, several hosts into different groups in the inventory file, where we grouped um, server1andserver2.technic.com into the Manchester group. We also grouped server3 servers three and four into the Barcelona group. So we're going to be looking at um, a nested group in this lesson. Like we explained in the first lesson that a nested group is a group inside of a group. So we're going to be looking at how to um, put this Manchester group inside of this Europe group to make it a nested group. So let's bounce to our blast screen and see how we can do this. So this is what we created in the first, um, in the last inventory file rather, where we had um, server five and server eight. I've actually deleted server nine and the one that um, contains the IP address. So from the table, like we mentioned, we're going to be creating uh, a nested group. And of course, from that same table, we know that Manchester is in, I mean, servers one and two are in the Manchester group three and four are in the Barcelona group, and then six and seven are in the UV group, while five and eight are standalone servers and they are not in any group. So to create a nested group, the Europe nested group, what we need to do is to just come here and put this in the INI format as well. So this is going to be Europe. All right. So to create a nested group, you need to add a parameter called children. So with the parameter children, you are telling the Ansible software that or the inventory file that this is going to be a nested group. So for ch oh, sorry children, this is this is um C H I L. So for this children, for this Europe nested group, we're going to be having the Manchester group. We're also going to be having the Barcelona group. Barcelona, we're also going to be having the UV. So one minute, let me look at the table again. So on the table, um, like I said, I'll be dropping the link to this website in the description section below so that you can easily check the table and, you know, um, navigate through. So on the table, um, the nested groups we have is just Europe and we have the Manchester, the Barcelona and the UV group, which has to be a nested group so and this is what we've just created so we can save this file now all right so now we can confirm we can verify that the inventory has been built and nested grouped so to do that as usual we can just use our command which is ansible dash dash list host so this is going to be europe and which inventory file that's the static static ini inventory file so you can see that we have um how many hosts we have servers one two three four six seven here yeah, which is correct so these are the hosts in the europe nested group okay so um we should also know that grouping or next grouping manage host makes administration very easy so you, because you might begin to ask that why do i have to uh, make a nested group so depending on your environment depending on how large your environment is sometimes it is always advisable or recommended that you nest group your host it's just to make administration very easy So let's talk about working with um, Ansible pattern. Um, Ansible pattern, okay, uh, one minute, let me just bring up my screen. All right, so Ansible pattern is just how we choose or select or determine the set of hosts we want the Ansible operation or task to operate on. So for example, if I want to list um, all the number of hosts in the inventory file, I can just say Ansible list host. So I can put this, I can put the star wildcard character 
just to list the host in to list all the hosts in the inventory file. So you can see that we have um, eight hosts in the inventory file, and so we've been able to use the wildcard character to easily, you know, um, manage the to easily manage the host in the inventory file. So it's just like you know, it's just a normal wildcard um, pattern. For example, if I also want to do this as technique, I can just say start dash technique dot com. We can also see the number of hosts that we have here. And also, um, if I also want to select the hosts that are common to Manchester group or part of Manchester group and not part of the Europe group, for example, so I can just say Ansible, um, I can say Ansible Manchester All right, I can also put the comma and say Europe. So this is going to be dash dash list post. Okay, so I can see that um, there is no host that matches this particular pattern. So what uh, other example can we do here? Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop, like I said, I'm going to drop the link to this um, particular lesson in the description section below. So you can check the various patterns that we used. You can just, you know, play with them. You can also do some class activities on them. Another thing we can also do is to use the graph command. So if I want to check the graphical representation of my inventory files, I can say Ansible inventory dash dash graph. So you can see the graphical rep representation of this inventory file. So if you don't see this um, output in your when you're doing your practice, never mind. Um, that could be because of how you installed the Ansible um, software. So it depends. There are different ways you can install the Ansible software and um, however however way you installed it sometimes you might need to work on the Ansible configuration file and if you have not done or worked on the Ansible configuration file you might not really get the output of what I'm getting here so which will take us to the next lesson and that will be um, managing and building the Ansible configuration file so we need to learn how to do that and by the time you know how to do that, you will understand. If you're not getting this output that I'm getting, you would understand why you're not getting this output and how you can always get this output. So thank you for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Bye for now.